Hello, hello. This is Sudarshan, and in this episode TA twenty eight dot one one, we will talk about vascular diseases of the kidney. So, when it comes to the vascular diseases of the kidney, so we will be talking about. So we will be talking about nephrosclerosis, then thrombotic microangiopathy, and renal cortical necrosis. So before that, we have the mechanisms briefly. So as we know, hypertension uh, is nothing but increase in blood pressure. So generally, one forty by ninety. If it is more than that, it is classified as hypertension, and normal. blood pressure as we know is 120 by 80 and essential there are two kinds of hypertension primary and secondary so essential hypertension it's also called primary so there are some factors uh, mostly the uh, non modifiable ones like age common in females sorry age it can affect any age but younger age also it is common sex common in males than females because females have protective mechanism because of estrogen and also they have the modifiable ones like addictions uh, dyslipidemia comorbidities like diabetes end organ damage etc and with respect to secondary hypertension mainly we have the activation of ras system and also Uh, different glands endocrine glands also their hypertension can be seen or neuropathies any nerve damage which can um, nerve damage as in uh, mainly the autonomic nervous system that can be affected that controls the blood vessels all right so mainly we'll concentrate on the consequences of hypertension so first is nephrosclerosis as the name suggests it is the hardening and narrowing of the artery that supplies the kidney that is the renal artery right so if we see the yes so if we see the cause mainly for that is atherosclerosis number one cause and in that there, there are compensatory mechanism that is fibromuscular dysplasia where there is disordered cellular growth there is excess growth of the elastic the the collagen fibers and the smooth muscle tissue that's what fibromuscular dysplasia means and the complications it can lead to secondary hypertension damage to the kidney um, or uh, i can say kidney failure and with respect to clinical features hypertension typical symptoms like blurry vision headaches and also yes all this will be there in clinical features and with respect to the diagnosis we can have imaging techniques like arteriogram is there ct mri doppler ultrasound and also labs we can do a urine analysis along with the the bun we can check if there is azotemia and treatment would be medications that's anti hypertensive drugs or anti yes anti hypertensive drugs surgery can be done that is we can go for angioplasty or we can remove the entire kidney if end stage disease or chronic kidney disease is there because that is a complication and then apart from that let us see gross and microscopy so grossly we have two kinds benign and malignant in benign we can see the v shaped scars which are present on the kidney whereas malignant we can have petechial hemorrhages somewhat like flea bitten kidney which we see in post streptococcal glomerulonephritis if we compare microscopy benign we can see the narrowed glomerulus damaged tubules along with that we can see the hardening and narrowing of the uh, arterioles with protein deposits and also in the intima we can it, the intima is very thick because of elastic fibers and collagen fibers whereas if we see the malignant one we have hyperplastic intimal sclerosis 
that is the narrowing of the intima because of excess size and mass of the the smooth muscle which is there and then also we can see necrotizing arteriolitis the inflammation of the arterioles with the damaged tissue there and also we can see fibrinoid necrosis where deposition of fibrin like material is there which is commonly seen in vasculitis also and then apart from the thrombotic microangiopathy as the name suggest thrombotic is clot formation micro small angio vessels patty disease a disease where clot is lodged in the small vessels that is the arterioles and capillaries complications maha micro angiopathic hemolytic anemia thrombocytopenia and dic because we are using more platelets to form the clot right so the platelet stores are reduced then we have renal cortical necrosis which is a damage to the cortex of the kidney or the renal cortex because of ischemia reduced blood flow that has led to infarction right and with the prognosis very challenging to treat uh, renal vascular diseases so thank you so much we'll see in the next lesson